اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ایوری بڈی ٹو ٹوڈیز کلاس فرائیڈے اوکے سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بی فنیشنگ آف آن آر ریویژن آف دس ویک اینڈ وی گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ تھرو سم سورس اینڈ اپلائی آل دی رولس دیٹ ویو لرن سو فار And inshallah, we will use these chapters, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94. Um, and we will use those and practice all of the, the rules that we've been taught so far that we've been revising through this week. Okay, so if I may have a student to the mic to read the opening dua, please. Yes, our first student is A7386. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you darling? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Okay, sweetheart. So we are going to read this opening dua. Um, um, can you read it by yourself? Yeah. Okay then. So don't forget the Dawood, the Tasmiyah, then the dua followed by the English translation. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربنا تقبل منا إنا كأنت السامي مي قل عليم Our Lord accept from us for you are all hearing all knowing And the reference is all done Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 128. MashaAllah, well done. Jazakum Allah, sweetheart. If you can repeat it with me as well, okay? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay. Rabbana taqabbal minna. Rabbana taqabbal mina. Okay. There is a tashdeed here. We make sure that we join these two letters and we press down on the bar. Okay. Taqabbal. Taqabbal. Minna. Minna. Well done. Innaka. Innaka. Antas. Sabi, antas sabi, ul alim, ul alim. Well done. Okay, so you have make sure you practice this dua and make sure that you practice um, pressing down on the tishdeed as well. Okay, so jazakumullah for now, and inshallah we may have you to the mic again later on in the class. Allah hafiz. Okay, so some of you will have seen. Um, this announcement and I will just go through it and I'll go through it again later on as well. Next week, um, Thursday the 20th of February, uh, we will be holding in class six till seven o'clock um, online Jalsa, Jalsa Yal Muslim mode. Um, and if you would like to be considered for a Nazim at the Jalsa, please send a recording of this Nazim, Bashir Ahmed, Sharif Ahmed or Mubarak Kiyami. If you can send a recording of that to us, please. If you would like to be considered for Tilawat at the Jalsa, please send a recording of the first five verses of chapter 62. And if you would like to be considered for speech at the Jalsa, and we're looking for a speech from both um, Anasara and Ertifal, please send a recording of a five minute speech plus the script on email, a suitable topic of your own choice, uh, choosing. And if you can send um, whatever you want to participate in, a recording to info at nqc.org.uk. Please ensure you write G2 followed by either Nizam or Dalavad or speech, whichever um, uh, part that you want to take part in. Write down whatever you're submitting, G2 followed by this submission in the subject box. And in the body of the email, please ensure that you include your student name and your GT, G2 ID. 
In fact, if you could put your G2ID in the subject box also, that would be um, really, really helpful. Okay, it'll speed everything up for us. Okay, so um, you can apply uh, for all of these. Okay, you can submit a recording of a nism as well as a delavert, as well as a speech. Um, and we will choose um, those that are most appropriate. Okay, so you're not limited just to um, applying just for one of them. You can apply for all three and we will choose whichever one we um, deem is most appropriate. I will give this announcement later on as well, just in case some um, students have come in late. Okay, the deadline is the 16th of February, 9 p.m. this Sunday. Um, so if you could possibly do that, because then we can um, choose and select students accordingly. Okay, okay, so Jazakumullah for your time in listening to that announcement. And if I can ask the, in, um, the host to in, um, admit MT114, please. Okay. okay, so today we are going to apply the rules that we've been practicing on um, in various chapters that we've actually already covered. So if I may have a student to the mic, please. Yes, just a minute. Yes, we have a student, N8390. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, darling? Good, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumul for asking. Okay, sweetheart, so I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? And then uh, I will ask you to do some recitation, okay? Yeah. Okay, then. So, so the way that you said, you know, assalamu alaikum with that eagerness, Say that with a yeah as well, okay, when I ask the questions, okay? Yeah. Yes, well done. Okay, tell me this means. What can you tell me about how you will read this and why? Um, no nasal sound. Well done, yes, and that's because? Um, there is a, there, um, because there's a yeah. Yes, um, that's sort of right, yeah? That meme will be read just as a, a clear meme. Why? Because the next letter is not a meme and the next letter is not a bar. That's why this is a clear meme. This letter could be anything, so long as it's not a meme or a bar, then this is a, a clear meme. Okay, well done. Okay, let me ask you, okay, do, 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 do. What is this well? What is the name for this well? Mm. I'll give you a clue. It's got something to do with that. Mm. I forgot. Okay. The well has what on top of it? Mm. That little symbol that looks like a hat. Mm. So, I, I don't remember. Okay, then. So the well has on top of it a symbol, which is uh, known as a sukun. You may also know it as a jazm. When a well carries this symbol, it's known as a well sakin. Any letter that carries that symbol will be a sakin letter. But when a well is a sakin letter and, and before it, there is a dhamma, then that well is actually a wow mother. What does that mean? Um, that you don't recite in the word before it has to be held for two seconds. Well done, yes. This ra with the dhamma normally would just be ru for one second. But because there's this wow um, mud straight afterwards, then that becomes ru for two seconds. Okay, well done. Okay, how would we read this noon sakin. No nasal sound. Well done. And why is that? Because um, if if, if the, the letter alif hamza ha um ra ain rain and um ho um ho ho well done. Then, then um, there's no nasal sound. Mashallah, well done. Yes, yes, well done. Um, if you see a noon sakin, the immediate thing you must do is look at the next letter. If it's not a mashadid, 
if it's not a bar, um, and if it is one of the um, six letters that you've just recite, um, mentioned, then you do um, just a clear sound on the noon. Well done. Okay. So let me say... Uh, doo -doo -doo. How would you recite this noon, Sakin, then? Um... Uh, nasal? Yes, a light nasal sound. And why is that? Because the letter after it isn't um, one of the letters like Alif, Hamza, um, Ha, Ha, Ain, Rain. Well done, yes. Okay, yes, well done. As soon as you see Nun Sakin, always look at the next letter. So long as it's not mushadad and it's not bar and it's not one of those six letters, then you do a two-second light nasal sound. Tell me, what would you do here on this, sorry, on this alif? Um, you would... Um... Okay, let me help you, yeah? As soon as you see an alif or a hamza with a sukoon on top, you will have to do a jerk sound, okay? So this will be read as the. Okay? Da. Okay, so so long as it's got the sukoon on top, then you read that as a the. You don't read it as a, a mud letter for two seconds. Okay, and then lastly, how would you um, end the verse here? Um, you would change it into a who and you would say na. Well done. Okay. So this letter at the moment is a da al marbuta. It's a ha here with two on the top. That's known as a da al marbuta. And at the moment it's got a dhamma on the top. If you pause on it, any letter, uh, any da al marbuta, doesn't matter what stroke it carries, always goes to a ha sakin. And that's why, as you correctly said, this would be a nah. Okay, well done. Um, well done. That's really pleasing. If you could read me from the Dawood and the Tasmiya up to here for me, please, darling. Okay. <laughs> Lama yakun illa zina kafaru min ahlil kitabi wal mushrikina munafiqina hatta ta ta tiyahu mul bayjina well done. Very, very nice reciting. Nice melody as well. There's one thing that um, I picked up on all the way through is when you were reading the Saki letters and I've highlighted them, okay, what you were doing is you were making um, a bounce on them as if they're Kalkula letters, okay? These letters are not Kalkula letters. So when you read them, this is how you would read, okay? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Lam yaku. Lam yaku. Well done. Okay, so lam, when you close your lips to make the meme sound, don't open them again. Lam. Lam. Well done. Okay, if you open them up very quickly, then you get lam. That's when you get the bounce and you don't need the bounce. Okay. Lam yakunil ladina. Lam yakunil ladina. Well done. Same here with this noon. Min ahlil. Min ahlil. Well done, okay? Say with this sheen here, okay? Wal mushrikina. Wal mushrikina. Well done. Mufakina. Mufakina. Okay, so this, first of all, okay, this noon sakin, do a light nasal sound, yeah? Mu. Mu. Well done. 
This fa will join on with this gaff. Why? Because the gaff has the, the steed on the top. Fakina. Fakina. Well done. And it is a gaff, so make sure that you keep it as a gaff, not as a off, okay? Well done. Mm -hmm. Same here. Humul bayina. Humul bayina. Well done. Okay, so your recitation is very nice. Just be careful that you don't make every Saki letter a Gulgula letter. There's no bounce, okay? Yes. Okay, then Jazakumullah. If I can have another student on the mic, please. Yes, our next student is A7362. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, tell me, sweetheart, how would you read these two letters? Um, Rasulum Allahi. Well done, yes. Two second nasalization on the mean mushaddad. Okay, and you very nicely made this into a thick lam. Why did you make it into a thick lam? Because it's Allah's name. Otherwise, if it was something like... Yeah, you're quite right. It's like in the word was... Allah. But there's one other reason why you make it thick. Um, because it has a mushaddad on. Okay, so in the word Allah, the lam is a mushaddad lam, yes. The, yes. the stroke just before it, which I've just highlighted here on top of the yes. noon, is on the top. Those two reasons, the fact that this is a lam mushaddad in the word Allah and the stroke just before is on the top, those two reasons make this lam into a thick lam. So is it when, like, they both are combined together, that's why it makes it sound like... Yeah. Um, no. Yes. So, like, for example, here, this is a lama shadad. Would you read that as a thick lam? Um, no. No, because it's not part of the word Allah. Okay? Allah so, is only written like it is over there. Uh, yes, this is uh, uh, one of the most common ways of writing the word Allah. Um, so as soon as you see a lam within the word Allah, look at the stroke of the letter beforehand. If it's on the top, then it becomes a thick lam. Okay, well done. Okay, so how would you end the verse here? Um, yes, well done, because this letter is a Tal Mabuta. When you end on a Tal Mabuta, whatever stroke it carries, it goes into a Ha Sakin. That's what you treat it as. Well done. Okay. How would you read this here? Kutubun kaf. Sorry. Kutubun. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Say for me, um, as if you're playing table tennis, ping pong. Ping pong. Okay. So um, uh, in Urdu, there's a word um, for fan. I think it's fan. Banka. Can you say that? Okay, so there's a, that is that, that slight nasal sound, yeah, that noon sound is there, but you're not actually pressing down on it. That's the sort of sound that you want to aim for here, okay? Boom. Boom. Well done. Your tongue shouldn't touch the top of your mouth when you make that sound, okay? Okay, but you've got to try and get that nasal sound, yeah? Boom. Well done. And the reason you do that is because the next letter is not Mushadad, it's not Ba, and it's not, ba. The, yeah, it's not one of the six letters um, that cause um, this to become a, a clear sound. So that's why you do that nasalization. Okay, well done. Let me go and ask you, is this a thick or a thin lamb? It's a thin lam. Well done. Lam. Because it's not part of the word Allah. So it doesn't matter the fact that it's a mushaddad. It doesn't matter that there's a, the, a fatha beforehand. It's not part of the word Allah. It's going to remain a thin lam. Well done. Okay. So tell me something about this here. Um, is it mim? Should I say mim? Well done. Yes. Whenever you see this little meme and it, you will always be able to tell because it's not going to look 
the same as the rest of the, the letters, okay? It's going to be written up at the top there. It's always written either on next to a noon sakin or some tanveen, okay, when it occurs. And is it always... Um, I have a question. You know the mum? Yeah. Um, the sakin over there. Yeah. It, is it always supposed to be on a sakin? Yes, it'll either be uh, near a noon sakin or near a tanveen. So it being, can't be um, on another sakin? Like. No, just a noon sakin. It'll only ever be on a noon sakin. And what that means is, instead of reading this as a min, you read it with a, you replace the noon with the mean. Okay? okay. So you say, mimba. Mimba. Well done. Okay? So this little meme is what's known as a meme makluba. Um, but, you know, all you need to really know is that you exchange the noon for the mean, okay? And that's okay. to do with Arabic grammar and pronunciation and how the meme sound is made and how it leads into the bar sound, okay? So you just ignore the noon and you make a beam sound. Um, okay. Yes? Um, can I do some reading too? You can indeed, yes. Um, so we did, okay. So let me just take all these away. Okay, so if you could read the Dawood, Okay, and uh, the Dasmiya, and read, if I could get rid of this, okay, from here to here. Okay, shall I read now? Yeah. Uh, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rasulun minallah yatlu suhufan mutahharah Fiha kutubun khayyibah well done, well done, okay? You will need to work on your light nasal sound here, okay? Okay, well done. Okay, Jazakumullah, otherwise your reading was very nice, your pronunciation was very nice. You just need to work on that light nasal sound. If you keep practicing, inshallah, it will come to you, okay? Okay, thank you, bye. You're welcome, Jazakumullah. If I may have another student, please. Yes, we have N8371. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, darling. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, sweetheart, let me ask you. Let's move on to another. Tell me something about this symbol here. Do we uh, make it two seconds long? Okay, so this symbol here is just to tell you. Okay, let me just adjust my sound. Okay, you can hear me clearly? Yeah. Okay, so when you see this symbol here, a little wiggly symbol, this is known as a mud sagir, and you'll see it on top um, of a mud here. Okay, so alif mud or another mud letter. And what that means is that ordinarily you would stretch for two seconds, but when you see this symbol, you stretch the sound for three seconds, four seconds, or five seconds, anywhere between three to five seconds, okay? So longer okay. than two seconds, but not as, you know, uh, only as long as five seconds, depends on your, your breath control, okay? Okay. Okay, so this first one is on top of an alif mud, this second one is on top of a wow mud. They only ever come on top of mud letters, okay? okay. Tell me now, do you know about this symbol? Um, yes. We also make it two seconds long or more. Okay, so this is known as a mud gabir. Okay, and again, you will only ever see this symbol on top of a mud letter. Here, it happens to be on top of an alif mud. This tells you that you've got to stretch the sound out, not just for two seconds, but for longer. Um, and the difference between this one here. And this one here is just in the timing. This first one here, three to five seconds. This one here, four to six seconds. 
Okay, so anywhere between four and six seconds. Okay. Okay, right, well done. So tell me something about this. What would you read there? Why you? Okay, so um, what you've done is what many, many people do is when they see something like this, okay? What they, let me just highlight that again. Okay, so when they see this here, okay? They see the yaw, ya with the dhamma, and then they see the wow, but there's a hamza on top. Okay, so the way you, you've got to treat this is if I'm, I'm, I'm your teacher, and at the moment, although you can't see, I'm sitting on a chair. I'm the person who's speaking. The chair isn't. Yeah. Same here, okay? Think of the wow as a chair and think of the hamza as the person sitting on it, okay? The wow will not speak. It's the hamza that will speak or it's the hamza that you read. The wow just happens to be the chair that the hamza sits on. And again, it's something to do with Arabic grammar and you don't need to know about why, but the hamza will sit on the chair of wow. So when you read this, you read the hamza, not the wow. Okay, and on top of that, this hamza happens to be with a sukun on top, so you will do a jerking sound. You, you, well done. Okay, so remember, whenever you see a hamza sitting on top of another letter, sometimes it will be on a ya. You read the person on the chair. Treat it as that way. The letter is sitting on the chair of the other letter, so you read the hamza. Okay. Okay. Okay, well done. Okay, so Sriha, I would like you to read from here, okay, and you'll, uh, okay, so it's a pretty long verse, so um, take your breath as well, okay, from there to there, please. Okay. <speaking in Hebrew> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa ma ummiru illa liya'budullaha Mu'listina lakuddina Huna huna fa'a Wa yu'a wa yu'imu salata Okay, well done, well done. Okay, so that was a pretty long verse. Um, and to get it all in one breath would have been asking a lot. Um, okay, so Suha, you need to um, practice on differentiating between your thick letters and your thin letters, okay? Um, this lam here, illa... <coughs> Illa. Muh. Yeah. Muh. Muh. Well done. Okay. Hunafa. Hunafa. Okay. Here. The zaka. The zaka. Well done. Okay. So now let me read this verse with you. Okay. So um, you follow with me. Audhu billahi min shaitan rajeem. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا Okay. وَمَا وَمَا أُمِرُوا أُمِرُوا Have you got your brother with you? No. Oh, okay. So somebody else... Um, Okay, all right. Illa. Illa. Well done. One more time. Wama umiru illa. Wama umiru illa. Okay, so see how, so what you need to do is make sure that you do, don't join the u here with this me. Okay, they're two separate sounds. Okay, there's no. Uh, jizm, jizm, there's no tashdeed. U, mi. U, mi. Hold on. U, mi, ru. U, mi, ru. Okay. So here, li, ya, budu, loha. Li, ya, budu, loha. 
Okay, so this is an ayn. Okay, so there's no jerky sound. Liya budullaha. Liya budullaha. Muhlisina. Muhlisina. Su, su, sina. Sina. Lahuddin. Lahuddin. Well done. Okay, so let me just point something out here, okay? This, these symbols here, now we haven't covered those in this course um, at the moment. Uh, inshallah, we may well get around to those. But when you see these two, okay, um, both of them are basically giving you permission either to carry on or to stop, okay? So you can choose to carry on or you can choose to stop. Now, if you choose to stop, which is fine, okay, then you're going to do what we call a work on this noon. So how will we um, work on a noon with a fatha on it? Deen. Well done, because the fatha will go to a sukoon, okay? So that's why when I read it, I did lahuddin. Lahuddin. Now, if I wanted to carry on because my breath was going to allow me to, and I wanted to carry on, then I would read lahuddin lahunafa. So I would read the fatha if I was going to carry on, okay? So when you pause, make sure you remember what the pause rule is for the letter that you're going to pause on, okay? Okay. Okay, well done. Hunafa awayuqi musala. Hunafa awayuqi musala. Well done. Awayuki. Awayuki. Okay, so don't join the U and the T, okay? They, they're not joined by a tashtid or a jism, okay? Wayuki. Wayuki. Musala. Musala. Well done, okay? So I stopped there, okay, on this Dalma Buddha. Um, because I wanted you to catch up on your breath. And because I paused on it, this is a Tal Marbuta. What do we do with the Tal Marbuta when we pause? Do we do a what? Uh, yeah, sorry, but what do we do to it? Uh, what sound do we make? Salah. Well done, yes. A Tal Marbuta, whatever stroke it carries, goes to a Hasakim. So that's why I said, Musala. Okay. Now, if I wanted to carry on, if I wanted to carry on because my breath was going to allow me to, how I would have read that is, Wayuki Musala ta wayu zaka. So I would have read the ta. Okay. So okay. remember your work rules. If you're going to pause, then you've got to apply the work rule on the letter that you're pausing on. Okay. okay. So let's carry on. Wayu. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. So, sweetheart, when you practice your recitation, okay, have a mobile phone to hand and record yourself and listen back afterwards, okay, and watch your timing on the mud letters as well, okay? Okay. Okay then. Jazakumullah sweetha Allah Hafiz. If I can have another student Allah Hafiz on the mic, please. Yes, we have a, another student. A seven four and zero. Wait a minute. Assalamu alaikum. A seven four one zero. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam dali. How are you? I'm good. Alhamdulillah, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I am very well. Jazakumullah. Okay, sweetheart, tell me, how would you read that? Ooh. Well done. Okay, so um, tell me something about this well. Um, it's a blank well, so you don't read it? Well done, well done, yes. Um, very well done, yes. This well... Some people will see that and they think, oh, it's a wa wada. And then they will do the ooh sound for two seconds. But this wow does not carry a sukun. 
it's a blank wow. So that's why, quite rightly, this default did, ooh, well done for spotting that. Same here, okay? This wow is not a wow madda. It has no sukoon on the top. It's a blank wow. So you just read the alif with the dhamma for one second. Okay, all right, well done. So let me just see if I can find a couple of other... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, uh, okay, all right. So, see how, if you can read for me, let me highlight do, do, do. from here to here. Are uh, you still? Uh, yeah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين well done, well done. Okay, sweetheart. So this is a long verse, okay? And um, in the Gramaji, there are many long verses. So you wouldn't necessarily be able to read from the beginning right through to the end. Um, all in one breath, okay? So um, you have to sometimes make a break within, okay? Um, a really good rule of thumb is look for wow, okay? Because wow means and. So that's a natural um, uh, place to pause, okay? So you ran out of breath here, okay? So what you did was you read, wal mushrikina. If you were there to pause there, how should you have paused? Keen. Keen. Well done. Okay. Because the rules of work far that if you pause on a letter which carries a simple stroke, the simple stroke goes to uh, a sukoon. Okay. Now, as I say, if you can pause where there's a wow, it would be much better. Okay. So follow with me, darling. Audhu billahi wa shaitan rajim. Inna alladheena kafaru min ahlil kitab. Well done, okay? There's a ba with a kasra. And I chose to pause there, so the kasra went to a school. <coughs> but ba <coughs> is also a kalkala letter, so you have to do a little bit of a bounce, okay? Kitab. Kitab. Well done, okay? So when you press your lips together to make the ba sound, Open them again quickly. Kitab. Kitab. Well done. Wal mushriki nafi nari jahannam. Wal mushriki nafi nari jahannam. Well done. Because I paused there, I made that meme with the fatah into a meme sakin. Okay? Because that's where I was going to pause. Holy Dina Fiha. Holy Dina Fiha. Well done. Ula Ika Hum Sharul Bariya. Ula Ika Hum Sharul Bariya. Well done. Okay, so your reading is very nice, okay? But just remember if you're going to pause because you've run out of breath, that's fine. Um, but apply the rules of waqf, okay? Yes. Okay then, Jazakumullah. Allah yeah. Hafiz. Okay, so uh, we've... Okay, so let's go to another surah. If I can have a student on the mic. Yes, we have N8404. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Dali. How are you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah, how are you? I'm good. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, sweetheart. So I'm going to ask you um, if you are going to read here, how would you read that, darling? Al Qadr. Well 
done very very nice yes the qaf and the dal join because the dal is a sakin dal okay the dal also is a kalkla letter so you do a little bit of a bounce which you did but the next letter is a ra with a kasra and because we're going to pause that ra goes to sakin so we've got one sakin letter followed by another sakin letter but we make sure we read both of those um, sakin letters which you did beautifully um, okay read for me here uh, read from here right to the end okay well done okay so you did exactly the right thing you made sure that the ra went to a sakin ra okay and you made sure that you pronounce the ha and the ra which is completely right but what you mustn't do is bounce on the ha okay you mustn't do shahra well okay so no that is the correct way of reading it shahra okay you mustn't do that let me read that for you again okay al fi shahr al fi shahr well done say the ra at the end shahr shahr well done okay so this is a very common thing that many readers will do that um they will as they read that they will just bounce on the ha here which they mustn't and they might bounce the ra as well, which it mustn't. The sh, the ha, and the ra must all be joined and sounded, but there isn't any bouncing. Okay, sweetheart. So, the other thing I want to ask you is, if I was to ask you to read from here to here, can you read that for me, please? Rabbihim kulli amr. Well done. Okay. So, this little symbol here, which is to say, we haven't gone through these symbols with you at the moment. Um, and inshallah, we may fit them into our course. This symbol here tells you that you can choose to pause on the meme or you can choose to carry on. Okay. Now, let me just show you. Okay. If I was to pause here, then I'd pause on the meme sucking. I would read, rub, be him. Why? Because this is a meme sakin, and when you have a sakin letter, the sakin letter stays the same. Rabbi him. Then I would go on to say, kulli amr. Okay? But if I wanted to carry on, I wanted to carry on and read all the way through, then this is a meme, and there's another meme. We've got two memes together. So that's like having a meme mushadad. Okay? What do we do when we have a meme mushadad? Um, like here. We do a two-second nasalization sound. Okay, we do a two-second guna sound. So if I was to read, we, I'd read, Rabbi him I'd make sure that this meme and this meme, they joined and there was a two second nasalization, okay? Okay. Okay, so when you do carry on, make sure you um, pay attention to what the letters are. Okay, sweetheart, so if you could have a go at reading. Um, okay, read from the beginning, and I will pause you probably here, okay? Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Inna anzalna Kufi laylatil qad Wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr Layla kul qadri khayrun min alfi shayr. Okay, all right. Well done. Okay, really, really nice reading. Nice voice, nice pronunciation, okay? And you do actually know your Galkana because you were using it, um, applying it where it occurred. Just here, okay? Qadr. Well done. Okay. Um, 
Okay, and what is this letter here, darling? A do. It's a ta, ta al marbuta, okay? When you read it, I thought I heard a qaf, okay? It has got two dots, but this is a ta, okay? Ta al marbuta. Layla tul. Layla tul. Well done, okay. So now, so you read from here to here. Okay. Dan, okay. Tanazalu Zalul Malaika to Burrohu Fiha Be is Be is Be him Kuli Amr. Well done, well done. Okay, so you here, okay. Um, just read me from the wow to this wow. How would you read that? Varu. Okay, varu. Varu. Well done, okay. Two seconds, okay. So it's a ru um, and it's not a ro, which is what I heard when you were first reading it. Okay, so Sriha, just read to the end now, okay. Okay. Well done. Okay. So let me here. This is a me. It carries a zamatain. It's a tanveen. Normally you would um on a tanveen, you would do a two second nasalization. But as soon as you see a tanveen, you should look at the next letter. Okay? The next letter is what, darling? He. Okay, yes. It's a ha and it has a kasra, so it makes a sound he. This ha is one of those letters where um, as soon as you see that, it tells you that this tanveen will just be a clear sound. Okay? There'll be no nasalization. Salamun hiya. Salamun hiya. Well done. So this tanveen here, as soon as you see any tanveen, always look at the next letter, okay? Because the next letter will decide what you're going to do with the tanveen, okay? So, Salamun hiya hatta matala il fajr. Salamun hiya hatta masla il fajr. 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 Okay, what is this letter, darling? Asa. Uh, sorry? Asa. Okay, uh, let me see if I can find another example of that letter. Have we put one of those here? No. Okay, so let me just find, see if I can find. So when I'm looking for a particular letter, I won't be able to spot it. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me see if I can find it. So I'm looking for a da. Okay, what is this letter here? Da. Okay, it's a da. Okay, round your mouth, da. Da. Well done, okay. Now, let me highlight it again. What is this letter here? Da. Well done, yes. So um, I'm not sure why you were thinking that was a so sound, okay? Matala il fajr. Mata, matala il fajr. Well done. So you have very nice reading, very nice reading. Keep on practicing and um, uh, inshallah you will get um, even better, okay? Okay. Okay, Allah Hafiz. If I can have another student yes. on the mic, please. Yes, can I have a student A7369? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Excuse me. A7369, assalamu alaikum. Okay, if I could have another student instead. Okay. Now we have A7412. Assalamu alaikum. A7412. Okay, if I can have a different student then. 
A7372. Okay, let me unmute him. Okay, so many students, um, the support teacher is actually choosing you because it's your turn on the mic. Um, there is a problem with your mic. So who am I speaking to? A7412. Assalamualaikum, darling. Okay, so you have... I have you need to... A7313. No, you're A7412. But sweetheart, you've got to make sure everybody behind you is quiet, okay? Okay? Okay. All right then, okay? Because otherwise no one else, um, everyone else won't be able to hear. Okay, sweetheart, so let me ask you, um, if I was going to ask you to read from here to the end. Can you read from there to the end, please? Okay. So... Dawood first, yeah? What? Dawood. Aoud. 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 Well done. Okay. So... See from this noon to the, the last noon, how many seconds could you have made that sound for? Two seconds. Two seconds, okay. So yes, there is a wa madda, okay? So normally that would be two seconds, but you're going to pause on the end here. So how many seconds could you have gone for if you wanted to? So I can't hear you at all, darling. Speak up. I would, I would have um, also done it for two seconds if I wanted to. Okay, all right. But do you know how many seconds you're allowed to read it for? Um. Okay, so I'm finding it quite difficult to hear. But when you pause, okay, on a letter like this noon here, okay, on a consonant, as you call them, and it becomes a sakin. And the letter before happens to be a wa mud or any mud letter, then what happens is that normal two seconds that you would make for this, you then can stretch that up for four seconds or six seconds if you want. Two, four, or six seconds, okay? So you could read from here to the end as either mum noon if you wanted to do it for six seconds or Mum noon for four seconds. You could also do it as mum noon for two seconds. You have a choice. And that's because you're going to finish on a sake noon or sake letter and the letter before is a mud. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So you have, because we can't hear you, I would like, I'm going to ask for another student. Okay? Because I want everybody else to hear. And if you could sort out your mic for another day. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if I could have another student. Yes, we have N8403. N8403. Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam, darling. How are you? Good, how are you? I am very good. Jazakumullah for asking. Okay, sweetheart. So I would like you to read from here to, what's the time, to here, okay? Dawood and Tasbih first, please. A'uzu billahi min shaitan ar-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Laqad khalak khalakan al-insana fi ahsani taqveem Carry on. Summa rahad, summa radadna hu, hu asqa, asfalasa, fitlin. Okay, well done. Okay, so, Sriha, so you actually know the rules. You know where this kalkala, and um, you know really how to read. 
It's just your timing that you've got to work on, okay? And the best thing that you can do is to record yourself on um, a phone and then listen back. And then you'll hear where your timing um, is going um, slightly wrong, okay? So let's do this slowly, okay? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لقد خلقنا الإنسان لقد خلقنا إن الإنسان إنسان إنسان في أحسن في أحسن تقويم Takaveen. Well done. And again, Lakoda Holakana Insana Fi Asani Takaween. Lakoda Holakana Nal in Insana Fi Asani Takaween. Okay, this is just for one second, okay? This one here, okay? ثم رددناه أس ثم رددناه أسفا okay. أسفل سافلين أسفل سافلين Well done. Let me put it together. ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين Okay. Okay, well done. So you have, the only thing you've got to do is pay attention to your timings, okay? So record yourself and then listen back. And um, if you're still struggling, then do it bit by bit, okay? So, thumma. And then, radadanahu, then put them together. Thumma radadanahu, asfala, asfala sa, asfala sa filin. Do it slowly like that, and then you'll find that you can put them together easier, okay? Okay. Okay, then, jazakamullah for your time. Allah hafiz. Allah hafiz. Okay, then, so... Um, what I was trying to do in this class was to point out that we've actually taught almost everything you really need to know to make a really um, proficient attempt at reading the Holy Quran. Um, all the rules have been um, essentially taught, essentially all of the rules have been taught to you. And now it's just a case of applying them, remembering them and applying them. As soon as you see a mean, you must look at the next letter. As soon as you see a tanveen, you must look at the next letter. As soon as you see um, a noon sakin, which is here, you must look at the next letter. Um, know how to stretch, know how to pause, okay? And know that sometimes you're going to pause within a verse, so you should know what the rules are if you're going to pause, okay? Um, right, okay then. So now let me just take you back to this announcement that we made at the beginning of the class and some students may have um, missed. Next week on the 20th of February, Thursday, we're going to be holding in class, six till seven o'clock, seven o'clock, um, our Jalsa Yom Muslim mode. And we will be having a Nazan, a Talabad, as well as um, two speeches, one from a Nasra, one from a Tifur. If you would like to be considered, please send us a recording of a Nazan, Bashir Ahmed, Sharif Ahmed, or Mubarak Piyami. If you'd like to uh, submit for the Lavad, the first five verses of chapter 62. And if you would like to be considered for a speech, a five minute speech, um, if you can record yourself and send that in, plus the script, a topic of your own choice. Okay, and if you could send them by email to info at nqc.org.uk, 
please, 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 in the subject box, put down G2 and then whatever it is that you're submitting, submission, and then also put your ID. You can apply for all three, okay? Nazim, the Lavat, and speech. Um, and if you could possibly do that by the 16th of February so that we can finalize and have our gel sent next Thursday. Okay, so now we've come to the end of our class. Um, and I finally have a student to the mic. Okay, N8403. Asalaamu Alaikum, N8403. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam, darling. So you're still on the mic. So let me just give you, um, if you could follow with me, darling, yeah? A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma arhamni. Allahumma arhamni. Bil Quran al Azim. Bil Quran al Azim. And the English translation. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. Jazakumullah Siha. Um, and thank you to everybody. Jazakumullah for attending the class. And I know that next week is half term for many of you. Um, please do try and attend. And if you, pos you can't, uh, for any reason, do watch the recordings afterwards. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.